Below is a great FET media. You're going to be experimenting with it and better visualizing circular motion. I'm sure you'd figure it out with some hacking around, but perhaps I can save you a little bit of time by giving you a quick overview. First, the easiest way to see exactly what's going on is to check both show velocity vector and show acceleration vector along the left side here. Just ensure they're checked off. To get things rolling, let's increase the angular velocity using the slider at the bottom left here. Let's crank it up to about 100 degrees per second. We can now see that the green velocity vector shows up, showing the linear velocity of the ladybug at any point in time. Notice that the magnitude of the velocity stays the same, but the direction keeps changing. The green arrow is the same length, but it keeps pointing in different directions. The acceleration vector, shown in red, is always pointing towards the center of the circle. This is the centripetal acceleration, and we know that centripetal acceleration always points towards the center of the curve. If we speed things up a bit, around 130 degrees per second, we see that the velocity vector grows, as well as the acceleration vector. Let's add a second ladybug, and this one will be closer to the center. When we start it again, what do we see? They both have velocity vectors, but the new bug has a much smaller velocity vector. How can this be? They're both on the same turntable. It's true that they both have the same rotational speed, that is, it takes them the same amount of time to do one rotation, but they have a very different linear speed. The red ladybug travels a lot further in each rotation than the green one. Thus, it would be traveling more meters per second, a greater linear velocity. You can probably relate this if you think back to your youth and playing on a merry-go-round. If you wanted a wilder ride, you would just hang off the very edge of it and see if you can hold on. You go faster the further you are from the center of the merry-go-round. Play around with this media a bit and try some of the experiments requested in your learning guide.